Our players behind us have actually got in there. This is going to be the UK versus France. Chat, if you are feeling like Willow is going to take it, I need to see the ones. Cacahuete, if you are a fan of Peanuts, y'all press two in that chat. Here we go, game one in our first to five, I believe. It says first to seven at the bottom. I, so we're just going to double check on that one in a moment. And the assists are already spent, and I actually didn't see which ones Cacahuete was using. <laughs> Let's see. Bardock B. Oh, yep, that was good. Bardock B. So, uh, just uh, off the bat, you know, Bardock B does what it is meant to do. Locks you down, opens up that beautiful mix-up from Bluku, and now he's got him in the corner after that EX dive kick. Are you going to keep blocking this mix? Nope, just Sparks wants to get out of the corner and going to take their own turn back Willow with the mix oh. and all of those overheads. you got to watch your dome for those, and uh, this should just be a 18 level 3, with barring no drops, obviously. Mm -hmm. She's gonna pull him out of the corner. Doesn't matter. You had the left right in either direction Now does peanut or cockahuet want to spend their spark to keep the point war intact? Oh my gosh, they somehow it looked like they moved back but the command throw the EX hands are going to catch It's a slag knockdown into the level one and cockahuet is going to lose that blue coup Which is a shame because we saw the loops already activated that was some gorgeous stuff from cockahuet really using more of the shoulder tackle pressure, but an air to air for Bardock He's yeah, saying, we, you we, think we, you're meta? We've got the the OG team, the 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 all of the Gokus on the side of Kakuit's team now. It's just Bardock and the SSJ Goku, and you cannot be doing that against Will. He is ready for those two H's and immediately switches out to the Beers. Gonna go ahead and get his own Oki in the corner. Rocks are used as well. He's like, nah, I don't want to deal with those rocks. Gonna cash out the Sparking. And, but we don't see a follow-up there from uh, Kakowet. I think they had uh, used the empty Vanish initially, and so once they had that hit, they couldn't use Vanish to follow up after the EX Lariat. Bring him down into that beam assist spin on him. Should be a level 1, level 3 for the kill. Super Saiyan 3, the ultimate form. And Beerus is going to go down now. Kakowet has not really any time left on this sparking. By the time we get back into the round start, it should be expired, so they are down in resources. No bars to four bars. But plenty of damage. We're just going to send Super Dash. I, I dig it. But there's the rock assist. It's so good. Yeah, again, rocks. Uh, best assist of the game. You know, we, we've been we've been preaching it for a while. It is just very, very, very good. And ooh, we got the 18 loops here too. All right. Bring him down. Rock assist a second time. Throw him. And we're going to once again level three. And yo, man, we got the family up in here. This is a marital transaction. <laughs> Bring him down. We tried to go same side last time. Again, Kakowitz's defense on this mix-up is so good. And we even have the conversions for Bardock, one of the newer combos. That's a tricky link. It's panning off just well enough. 1-1. One, one. 18 dies. Few hits left to spare. Kakowitz in a decent spot. But, I mean, Krillin is no one to sleep on in this patch. And monstrous anchor. Plenty of options for mix-ups. Damage dumping. Great vanish reaction. High level Dragon Ball Fighters. This is just our undercard friends. This is game one. Oh, yep. protagonist oh. 2M. <laughs> the 2M coup is back. Oh, and he gets the air to air. He's, oh, the reflect comes out as well, but he's just scrambling in this corner. Will is looking for an answer to this aggression, but Kaku gives him some, some breathing room now. The key blasts are coming back out, looking for something. Let's see if Will can find a conversion oh, off one of these. Super Dash. He's surprised by just jumps in. Oh no, two H, no slower flare. They're just letting the super dashes go unchecked. It's a little crazy in the height. Willow, try to press. Usually you're plus after vanish, but if you're a little higher than the opponent, you're negative, and that is game one over to Peanut. Welcome to the gallery, friends. This is this is great. Oh my god, this is already <laughs> exciting. Dragon Ball Fighters. I am. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. I'm glad I woke up for this. Oh, lordy, <laughs> friends. Oh, hey, there's Zane in the chat. What up, Zane? Good to see you from your friend. And Mustachio, I see you, my friend. Thank you for swinging by. I missed the hell out of you, bud. Let me just say that. And everyone else in the chat, so wonderful to see you here today as well. I am C Demand Cook Gaka, as C4 earlier described it. Y'all, y'all, I loved your riffs at Combo Breaker for me. I, I, did, I left all that at home for Evo, but that was a great time. We're going back into game two here. Willow had a really great start, won the point where, but I think they just kind of 
didn't check a couple situations that could have given them the lead. They start off with a great air to air. Now let's see how the offense progresses. Yeah, and also Kaihu's defense on both of the the 18 uh, level threes. Just you gotta shout those out, just because everyone is very very scared of those those 18 level threes, and he, he blocked two of them. So you know, it, it's definitely coming around. It's a 50 50. You know, he's got he's got to he's got to get hit by one eventually. <laughs> Right, true. Here we go. Super Saiyan Goku routes. The character does damage. He does damage like Gogeta's. The mix up is a little weaker, though. We were able to react to that Dragon Rush. Now, kind of trying to play some Beerus Orb neutral. The 2M! Watch your toes, Goku! That's going to be a lot of damage as well. Beerus does plenty of damage. Gets the Oki in the corner, and he's like, nah, I don't want to deal with this once again. Goes ahead. Spends his sparking and another super dash. Not quite able to find the full conversion off of it, but that sparking oh. timer is gone. And beautiful opening from Kaku. Yeah, just a couple of unfortunate situations. Looked like 18 went the wrong way with the 2M, and I think Willow tried to jump out before the Bardock assist could connect, but instead got caught in the jump frames. And now they're holding this blue coup pressure. There's half a bar to be quote for the cross. Oh my god! <laughs> Just teleport which way? That could have been 2H, but the mental stack is so high that you're not really looking for that one. And there's 6M and Spark, a potent option. You saw the 2H startup on Peanut's side, but lo and behold, 6M beats that. So it's part of the rock, paper, scissors of that situation. Once again, level three, you're two for two, Kakawet. Yep, let's see which side he goes for. Goes for the cross up, and there it is. See, 50-50s, you know, they're, they're true, right? Like, we, we he already blocked two. He has to just get hit by the next one. It's just, it's, it's simple math. It's, just, it's simple, it's simple math. The coin knows all of that, man. Now, playing back some that neutral. Beerus is going to give Willen, Willow the opportunity. We're fading back. Yeah, let the auto combo rock. Back dash, yeah! Bardock gaming. Yo, why does he have to vanish to pick up his EX Lariat? Like, sincere question. It is the year 2023. <laughs> Gogeta 4 out here. Like, I go through projectiles. I do 4K damage meterless after my old, old, I want to say OD Lariat because Street Fighter 6. EX Lightning Hammer. Why is Bardock out here playing like it's 2018 still, man, without fuzzies? God. Fuck this character, Bandai. Oh, the 2H. He played Rock, hey, Paper, Scissors. He's Bardock. He has to, he has to pay for his sins, man. It's been so many years. <laughs> when is it enough? Never. Never? Is it a year for each, like, Bardock Super at Evo Top 8? <laughs> like, is that it? Because otherwise, that man is that man is gone. Like, we, we will be old and dead men. Street Fighter 11 is going to be out, man. <laughs> Yeah, Bardock, Bardock's never going to be good. It, like, Tenkaichi's coming out, he's just going to be awful in that game as well somehow. It's just, like, he's just destined to never be good in a game again after all those level threes. You know, it was before, it was all, it was all because of Dragon Ball Minus. Minus ruined the character for people. Bandai said, bet, we'll make him as bad as you think he is. Bet. <laughs> make him through. Extension off the beam assist. Not the beam, but the beam's up there. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Street Fighter 11's out. <laughs> Just gotten a rollback. I'm dead, dude. <laughs> and there it is. It's tied up 1-1. One, one. Excellent stuff there from Willow. Not dropping a character that game. Just commanding lead and a presence out from there. I mean, we just kind of saw like all the layers to it, right? Like 18's level 3's. The beer is 2 3 6 um, S. Oki's Emmy that happened there that got a 2-H because Kakahuet said, Is this real? And Willow said, Yes, I'm real. <laughs> Hey, so sometimes you have to just execution check people on those kinds of okies, mm -hmm. but w when they got it down, boy, do you take a lot of damage. <laughs> like, it, it definitely Sounds hurts. Like, where, where you're just like, um, is your ghost okie real? And then you just get hit by a 2H, and then you're like, oh, it's real, and I just took a lot of damage. <laughs> it's one of those things like, oh, I've been playing, I've been playing too much ranked. I'm used to people not being good. <laughs> oh, what a 2H against the instant transmission. You wanted to skip neutral? All right, let's go to my okie. We don't get the overheads this time, but the stagger into the lows is going to catch. And we got two assists on deck here. Two bars. Does Willow actually have the opportunity to get the kill here? We got the brother loops. Assist. Throw. It just might be enough. I, I think, think it, is. it is. It should be enough. He's got some pretty good damaging level ones in there, so... 
Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Shouts to Kite in the chat, one of our top six finalists at Evo. Immaculate play, brother. Shoutouts to you. Oh, here we go. Plus frames. That's all he gets. Yeah, then reflect them off. It's like, let, yeah, let this man do some mix. I'm toxic. You know how I'm toxic? I look at that and say, yo, make that an unblockable. Like, let him charge it. Let's play that mind game. Let's play that mind game. That's how I am with Bardock. Fully charged? Just unblockable. Unblockable. You know, it's like, you, you stood there. You could have moved. Of course, keep a cross right, protection oh. so that you can't just assist jail into an unblockable. That'd be messed up. Oh, well, he's ready. He saw the tag. The red X icon. Bring him down now. Vanish. We're going to give up the corner Oki to tag in this Beerus. Let's see if the decision is justified. This is the timeline that we are in. Sandwiched by the beam! Shoot him in the back, son! Shoot him in the back! <laughs> the father-son synergy there. And yeah, I guess he does really just want to get rid of this Beerus. Beerus did put in a lot of work last game. And then as well as, you know, getting rid of the assist. Just... Very good character to get rid of. I had some blue life. Was like, yeah, let's let's just get rid of the cat. Here we go. Krillin gets the next hit here. Willow's gonna bring the combo down. It's running up, and we get the up tech chase actually. A little bit later, we somehow got a corner steal. Now we're gonna bring him back down. Level three. Krillin has some gross stuff he can do on the level threes as well. If he's close enough, he has the EX after image. Threatens some left rights. Oh, he tried to go in for a spark bait, but it's the raw tag that beats out the 5H. So Willow just not having the right read. Okay, we're gonna go Super Saiyan 3 for the side swap. This does a little more damage. He can do a different input to stay as a Super Saiyan. I think it's a hallmark actually back to a bug that was in the beta. Uh, of the game where sometimes you'd go Super Saiyan 3 and other times you'd stay Super Saiyan. It was, it was weird, but I like the homage. That was some sauce from these, some, from the Krillin sparking combos. I love those kinds of uh, conversions. And now we've got the Android 18 double three. I, I think the math is, uh, I think I think he's getting hit by this one. I think the, the math is good. Oh, just, oh no, no, he wanted he, to he, make the spark. Yeah, he chose to bait the spark. That was something I was wondering here. If you didn't hear, my friend's Nick was baiting on same side. Oh, no. We mash him. Oh, it's spaghetti time. Oh, we threw a bean out. I think by mistake, the 2H after whiffing 5LL gets Kakawet the hit. Level 1, shooter down. It is once again our situation from Game 1. Krillin versus Super Saiyan Goku and Bardock. Now, last time it got a little spooky for him when he was in this situation. He started getting a little panicky in the scramble situations and wasn't able to find too much. And there's the bait out on the reflect. And this should be a dead Krillin barring no drops once again. I love the mind game there with the plus frames. That is a buff that Bandai Namco gave to Super Saiyan Goku some patches ago where the medium version of his overhead punch is now plus on block. And that is hugely important. It's great for his pressure, allows him to reset his offense and create mind games like that. Like, hey, I'm plus, you know I'm plus. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Beta Reflect, take game two or game three, excuse me, Kakowitz second victory so far. Yo, this is so good. This is so good. I'm <laughs> 100% of him, Nick. Nick flexing, he's like, listen, man, put me in. I can block all this. <laughs> right? It's like, I didn't die to that level three. Take that Sometimes luck to Vegas, man. Keep calling red. <laughs> call red, call black, bet on that, man. I did not have that luck with blackjack, but here we go. <laughs> Game four, no pickup. We did have the time, so Kakawet maybe just not used to the new hit stun for the bit. Okay. Dragon Ball, you're cursed. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it happens, it happens, it's fine. Oh, beautiful barrier, no conversion, oh. though. Oh, this time the Sensu Bean comes out. And oh, beautiful. Man. Beautiful, just calling out, hey, you don't have an assist with this. I know exactly what to do to reveal the situation. And the rock assist in Blue Coup's face, Kakawet again is going to lose. The point war, Willow barely taking any chip damage on this 18. Yep, beautiful sandwich from that assist there, and it was uh, keeping this mix going. <laughs> once again, we said once that pressure starts for Willow, it, it is uh, it is uh, very spooky for Kaku to, to block. So, oh, and DP and this DP. time. Yeah, it's like all right, all right, all right. I reflected last time, but I'm not conditioned. I'm not conditioned. I don't believe in that stuff. What a setup to bait out reflect. Do we have these? 
Oh, please, Willow. Please. Oh, cook with the sauce. Everybody make some noise. Oh, oh, we dropped it at the very end, but it acts as a reset, and he didn't believe in the overhead. He goes for the Dragon Rush, drops the combo. Cockawet will spark up to keep Bardock alive just a little bit more. We have these on lock. I love the combo routing that Cockawet has with this Bardock. Save him level three. One of that overhead mix-up, and now it is time for some scramble. Oh, and the empty vanish into the overhead. Beautiful stuff. Finds the opening, and now, yeah... Willow Sparking Timer is going to go away. I don't think he has enough damage. Maybe with level three? Yeah, level three, spike him down. If oh, he gets the combo in the first place, had to delay it just a little bit more. You have a better window with that Bardock, uh, Bardock DHC because it spikes him down. You get the slide knockdown off of it. But, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, gets the reflect out, but isn't able, or isn't on the ground to be able to punish it, actually. When you but. do everything right, but you, but you're not. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, the there you go. Beautiful stuff again. Like Willow has just been so great with these barriers. That's been like the MVP of this game so far. We saw Kakawet try to run in throughout these two H's earlier. Nick says same side, friends. Chat, is it same side or is it cross up? I'm going same side. Reflect. We'll call it. Oh, it's a hilarious! It is hilarious like three times. Hey, if, if it doesn't work, try try again, right? Try try again, you know? I mean, that Larry, it is a six-frame attack. If he got the hit, like, he'd have to vanish to pick it up, but hey, we, we vibe with it. Level three Bardock, remember remember this? Ah, oh, good old days. Low, <laughs> now he's block. got almost no mix off of it. <laughs> I know, right? Like, like low-key. Oh, he's going to steal the Zenzu. That's like, high key, like a small buff to that level three. That would be appreciated. Bardock just needs something, man. He needs things. He needs things. Tries to run under, just gets cursed super dash instead, and now, oh, doesn't isn't close enough to the corner to to spend that bar for the Krillin level three. Now has to deal with getting hit by this Bardock. Not too much damage. Oh, goes for a reset. Are we chilling? And this time it's 5M to call out the back dash. I love the adaptation from Willow, just recognizing Kagawet's behaviors and then adjusting to them to be the death here off of that dragon rush willow three characters fairly healthy kakawet about a half life super saiyan goku and we open up with ex tatsu oh and just every hit just chunking through krillin's health the scaling Yo, of is that is basically nothing and just destroyed that man's health beautiful stuff there we get the first kill down I mean, it's a one-touch versus two-touch situation. Kakawet needs to hit Beerus in 18. Willow just needs to catch this slippery Super Saiyan Goku. We don't check the Super Dash. Stucco Disc, oh. and we mashed. We mashed on it. Oh, drops it low. And yeah. Oh, beautiful 2H. <sighs> yep. If you're not doing that in a block strain, it's a fairly simple 2H to get. We saw it come on through. And we just, I love that Willow played it slow. It's like, I got the lead. I don't have to rush in there. I can wait for you to come at me because the orbs are in there. And I like Kakawet's decision there too, like trying to EX through the orbs. Like, you know, I'm going to just teleport through these. I'm not worrying about them, but a little too straightforward of a game plan, it seems. Willow, if I remember right, ties up the set to two apiece. My friend, this might go the distance. This is the undercard match. And this is some <laughs> dope-ass Dragon Ball fighters. I am so hype for yeah. all of this. Europe be clapping today. Yeah, definitely seemingly going the distance. No sweeps today. Put away the brooms. We have a good series on our hands. Super Saiyan Goku tag in. Kakawet short combo. Get the offense. And you saw the Key Blast come out of the JM probably doing the Reflect OS in case Willow delayed Mash woke up, right? Let's see how this one goes. Knockdown. Again, timing all the safe jumps. And stagger pressure, there's no assist, and Willow's just chilling. Yep, looking for something here, but now Beerus, oh, just gets <laughs> caught in the toes by that 2M once again. The the greatest 2M, the 2M that will be heard around the world, and looks for the Aww. reset. A the second DP time for Kakawet. Called out as well, but... Ooh. Just all these assists missing, just looking oh. for this scramble situation, looking for the opening, and finally able to find it from Willow. 
There you go, jail him down, trying to find the hits. And I think Willow, I'm not sure these Zenzu Bean calls are all that intentional. They're just getting the input to call that instead of like going back to that neutral spot for you to call out that Zenzu Bean. Set up the orb, we chill, raw tag, is able to go through. Oh my lord, yes! Loops off the instant transmission, and we combo into the Bardock Assist off of the light dive kick. That is so sick, but not really enough to kill. And we spark bait! Immediate super dump! Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful spark bait from there, and now Willow looking at a pretty big disadvantage. I think probably the first time he, he, they've lost the the point war all all series actually, but definitely looking in a sticky situation now. The loops from the Bardock gonna get dropped this time. As soon as I call it the loops, it just immediately drops. It's just it's how it is. Oh, the fade back, the EX Lariat gonna catch the raw tag. We have to vanish, because again, Bardock, he's paying for sins. Here we go, a second serving of loops. One, two. It doesn't and even right go for here. the third. <laughs> no, no, that was, off that starter, that was about the max that you could get. Oh, we didn't get the combo though. You got hit by the setup for the mix, possibly a guard cancel attempt. Just walked forward, got hit. Oh. Really looking for that tag out, wants that blue life back, but I think that's going to sentence Android 18 to her death. And now you've got Curlin, you got seven bars. Can you make the comeback? Seen Willow in this situation time and time again. These two players back and forth. Willow has a dominating game, then Kakawet takes their turn. Just amazing stuff. Oh, 5M, McCurlin trying to do his best Vegito impression. Hey guys, look at me, I'm a Saiyan. Kakawe bring him down, didn't get the kill. Look spooky, looking... you can't play with your food. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Look at, looking for the snipes, look at, looking for that the, those key blast finishes, but and not, not quite enough, but, you know. It worked out, it worked, it, it's fine, you know, nothing, and he didn't drop the combo, he completed it successfully. <laughs> He finished the kill. We are moving on to game. I think it's five now. No, six. Game six. Kakawet takes the lead. Three, two. And if we've been keeping pace like we have been, this is probably Willow's game to win to tie everything up once again. Yeah, Jay Free, I gotta I gotta stay energized. I did my workout. That was one thing I realized at Evo. It's like, man, I gotta get back in shape. This is some boss walking stuff is bullshit. Here we go. Willow Kakawet. Game six, my friends. Here on Wanted, hosted on Damascus's stream. Nick, the commentary, is the one running the show today. Damascus is out in the world doing amazing things for the FTC. As usual, we have our first loop drop. We go for the 6M. Will's going to spark up for this 18. And now comes the offense. And the super dash is just on point, finding the opening once again, both in sparking. And this time, Beerus is going to find the hit. Beautiful side switch as well. And now, yeah, send him back down. Gets the slight knockdown. Here's the Oki. Let's see what he can get going. Looks for the 2H, oh. but a little too early on for, to punish that raw tag. Yep, no, have the right idea. Just mistimed the call out. We really just, you know, set up Mick 40 boxed on into a mid. What a legend. Yo, man, if Super Saiyan Goku had, like, a low 2L, man, that would be, be some hype shit. Oh, what a pickup. Beautiful stuff. Bring him down. Full extension. We have a side swap in there. Doesn't really matter. Kakawet's not going to be able to get corner routing, but this is still enough for the kill. Shoot him in the back. Catch Sun. And blast him down. Yep, the triple one sends him down. And now 18... Not looking the healthiest, uh, has a good bit of bar behind her as well, Ooh. and so that is what that enables, that amazing mix. You can't see anything once your brother's out there, and now send him back down, and actually going to look for the corner, corner Oki from Krillin. Once again, basically invisible mix-up. Have fun blocking it. <laughs> oh my god, but Kakawet is him. He is built differently. He blocks yet another 50-50. But Will is still going to take down Blue Koo. He's able to stabilize with this Krillin coming up to the front. Gets a hit after the initial mix-up was denied. Now Kakawet just needs to find some of the killing blows. It's looking like his game to win to take that important game lead. He mashed 2M. Classic Goku. Just like, yeah, 2M's going to work. 
It's Krillin. What am I worried about? I'm a Super Saiyan. Doesn't think he has to think about anything. Doesn't get the knockdown off that, but this should be a very, very dead SG Goku. <laughs> there we go. All of a sudden, Bardock coming in, screaming his head off. My baby boy. Looking for revenge. Oh, but the Kamehameha Ooh. catches. I think Kakawit was trying to jump out, just got frame trapped. Now Willow. Oh, we got some Sausimals. Yes, we do. Bring them up. Oh. Oh. Just the one stare point. down in the corner. Absolutely the one, beautiful. The one point on the screen where <laughs> Bardock's EX Lariat behaves like it belongs in the game. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> That's what uh, I think. Like, look at this. Let him do that bit screen. I don't give a right. shit anymore. <laughs> Just give it to him, man. Like, listen, you can shoot him out of it. You can hit him with key blast. Larry Otto. And again, I love that Willow is just respecting that Larry. It's such a fast option. It's one of the defining features of that move for oh. Bardock. But you are still negative, and you can't have backdash into the corner. There is no escape. Come to my planet that you're going to take it over and sell it for money? Nah, son. The only thing we're selling is these hands. Cashes out all those discs and, uh, yeah, sends him away with all those pizzas. So, uh, at least he got you know. some food. Right, you know, like father, like son, you know, just like, <laughs> joke's on you, Kakarot, I got three pizzas. <laughs> with stuff, <stuffed> crust. <laughs> Amazing stuff here. It's a tournament set now. Where the blue Gatorade at? I got purple in the fridge. I'll look at blue later, I think. Today is red, though, in the battle red versus blue, red won. Not the TM. Yeah, Neo. I know my TFS. And listen, I saw the next card. Let me tell you, when perfection is on screen, it's going to be great. Here we go, friends. Game number seven. It is tied up between these two. It is now first to two. Things looked rough for Willow initially, but they were able to pull themselves back together, take that game as it was theirs to win. We drop the loops again. We go for a dragon rush. But now it's time for some spark shenanigans. Oh my god, this is too much to look for! So much, and uh, just really mixing them up, and now... Ooh, doesn't quite get the third bar on the first connection, but is able to reset, find that, and this time goes actually for a late enough sparking to punish the EX tackle instead, and finds their own opening. I believe that was a reset, and now hey. this is going to be lots of damage. Dead Blue Ku off of the 6M working overtime for both of these players. Beerus Orb is going to catch. Blue Ku goes down again, but this is not all unfamiliar territory for Kakawet. The Bardock Super Saiyan Goku shell has really been putting in a lot of work for them. The assists are coming out now. Kakawet has to play solo for a moment. Gets called out by the 2H on their vanish. Beerus knocked down. Here we go. The orbs reflect, push him back. And we really just swung. We just swung like a monkey is saying. And oh no, not the blue beat. Blue of true. Hey, blue is true. Uh, you know, never, or truer words have never been said, so. That's how it works. Level three. Bardock should be going down right here. And now it is Goku against the world. Willow trying to go up on a two game winning streak here to get one step closer to closing out our undercard set here on Wanted. Yep. Oh, looking for these key blast snipes and not quite ready to. Uh, doesn't have the bar to actually confirm that one. Oh, and the back dash once more. Protagonist buttons the 2M of the god itself. The protagonist coming through. Once again, Super Saiyan 3. We don't mind losing the corner positioning here. And instead, we're just going to try and force some form of a mix up here. Yo, buff this level 3. Okay, again, 2 man. <laughs> Block can't be low. Man, my man's really got hit by the overhead when Goku threw out his one and only low. That's crazy. That's crazy. Just how it is sometimes. Sometimes sometimes you expect him to go for the, the double low, but, you know. Right, you know, you're going to stagger back, something like that. Or you're just, you're just practicing good principles, right? Like, you block low, react high, but sometimes you can just go, oh, the lowers are gone. I think La Labco 21 has scarred us all because like, the lows are never end. <laughs> they don't. And now, ooh, looking for something cheeky off that ground bounce, but isn't quite able to catch the tech. And now, as Goku, still possible to bring something back, but 
Let's see if he can find an opening to start bringing it back into his and, favor. Oh! Beautiful catch on that landing with the two of them. I gotta shout out the adjustment to neutral from Kakawet earlier in the set. They were running into all these barriers, swinging their buttons. Instead, they feint the approach, bait out the barrier, and then Willow tries to advance and go in just for Kakawet to answer with a beautiful backdash 2M, killing 18. And now Goku is trying to convince the God of Destruction to leave his planet alone. This cannon is hell, man. <laughs> this is the wasteland. That's the crater that they come out of, you know, like the flying up to the whole soundtrack and everything. All day, all day, all night, all night. Oh, finds the opening with the Kamehameha as well. Full screen, and now, no, uh, shouldn't be Goes any mix. Reset looks again. Reset. It hasn't worked, but they keep going back to it. Both these players so awake and aware. He's trying to contain Beers. He Whoa. gets the hit. I will not let you destroy my world. <laughs> it is enough, just barely, but it's enough. That made my heart. That made my heart go boom, man. I, I miss that this, Jay. <laughs> I miss SSJ. That was godlike. That was so sick. What a comeback there. And me. again, they keep trading games. <laughs> they keep trading! <laughs> they just... <laughs> it's... They can't get Thank a win streak going, man. <laughs> it's destined to be a, a tie game for the entire series. <laughs> oh my god, that was just so hype. I'm sorry if I blew out any eardrums, <laughs> microphone, Mix. headphones, whatever, but my god, I had to say the line. I called it out right Mix. there. <laughs> Mix. Mix! 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 That's so Mix. good. That's so good. Here we are, my friends. This is set point for Kakowet. Can Willow tie this all up and take us to game nine? Let's see Ooh. how this goes. Oh, finally! The throw comes out, but we just didn't have any means to convert it. We mash on Dragon Rush to throw me, huh? I'm gonna throw back at you, man. <laughs> and now, ooh, gets out with that EX kick, but the raw tag is not good there. Great stuff. And now, let's see what they can get going. Oh, pressure in the corner does not want to block. Sparking used once again to take their turn back. And now, oh, looking for that mm. mix, but not quite able to connect on that on that uh, jam. <laughs> Yeah, and the 5H not able to intercept the raw tag, just missing the active frames, and so Willow able to get some momentum for themselves. Kamehameha catches. Here we go, beam rejump. Important bit of extra damage. Man, Bandai Namco really looked at Gogeta Blue and said, what if everybody comboed like him? <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, bring him down. Willow taking the character lead again. And that Super Saiyan Goku that was so pivotal in the previous... Previous game is now dead. Kakawet has to show off the Bardock Bluku shell now. 2M Staggers, what are you looking for? That overhead's 24 frames. <laughs> Bring him down. Spin him. Just jailing him in. Oh, that jail caught, but not able to convert. And yeah, in the scramble, Willow gets the hit. Kakawet's trying to send all reliable, but... Oh, the 2L does end up catching Willow, not able to punish the dash in, but... Another super dash, skip neutral, gets it going, but oh, not fine. able to find the 2M, and the, the Lariat doesn't care about super dash. Nah, man. Lariat is just ignorant. Bring him down. <laughs> Empty low this time, but we didn't believe. Don't bait the reflect punish, and there it is, rock assist. And it looks like Willow was ready for that side swap as well. Should just be a quick super dump right here. Level 2 from Beerus, 1-1. One, one. Bring in the pizzas. And now it's all up to Bluku. Posey, if you're out there, man, I know you're going like, Bluku anchor! No, guys, you gotta listen to me! <laughs> I know I, I know he wants to believe, but this could be hard, especially when you eat the 5M to the face. Oh, we dropped the loot! We didn't spark! That was dead if we just used spark on that combo. Empty low, oh. though. This is it. Yeah, d d d doesn't need the spark. He's just like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, last character, uh, it's fine. You, know, you gotta sometimes you gotta send a message. I don't need the spark. And there we go, Willow. As the as it was preordained, written in the stars. <laughs> Willow takes the next game. The players back and forth all day, and we are at game nine, the decisive game. Only one of these two is going to walk away as the victor of this set. And based on trends, it's Kakawet's turn. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, 
Willow has to beat the trend. He has to do two <laughs> in a row. Something that neither of them have done was win two games in a row this whole set. And he has to do it now. He has to do it now. My friends, if you are feeling Willow today, I need you to press one in that chat. My friends, if you are going to believe that Cacahuete, it, it's their turn. It is France's time on the Xbox. Press two in chat, my friends. Here we go. Game nine. Hajime. Oh, the barrier immediately. Round start does not want to deal with any of those aggressive options. The JH hits and resets into the DR. And now the, he's going to get the knockdown for themselves. going to look for some mix in the corner. The raw tag, reflect raw tag. You know, every, every player loves mashing that. Does not want to deal with blocking. And now, let's see. This oh, beer is red. mix up just absolutely potent and now let's see how much damage you can get off of it it's one 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 it's gonna be close krillin's got a high damage dhc oh yeah that's dead oh Sayonara, that is. yep super saiyan blue goku i forgot how much damage that destructo disc does but i know right krillin hit krillin hit man luku <laughs> actually died and now kakawet again down to the bardock super saiyan goku shell but honestly, this is probably the most powerful performing shell of the day. But Willow is a man, a god of destruction on a mission to close out this set, to defy fate. Here it comes. You were thinking about that ball. Eyes on the ball. Here comes Dragon Rush. And now, another setup. We got the good knockdown here. 2H, Kakawet. What were you calling out? <laughs> I could not tell you. And now, Willow... Really seems like he's gonna defy this trend, but we've seen we've seen the uh, the comeback once already. He's got the sparking this time too, so uh, it's gonna be you know there's definitely a possibility. Right now, Kakawet having to be absolutely respectful is going to spend the spark early and tries to bust out with the EX overhead. It does have some iframes to it, but okay, Bandai, what was the point of making it a frame four reversal if the iframes expire before he hits you? Like, like, you, like what? Like what? Like that's that's crazy. It's it's just whatever. But Willow absolutely cooking, burning the spark time down. Has the resources to go into level three. Kakawet, you've been blocking most of these all day long. Can you do it for your set life? Nick Man says cross up. I'm gonna say same side. I'm gonna bet against him. Oh, oh. same side. But it doesn't gets matter. Open. Yep. Let's open up. Bring him down. And that is the end of the run. Willow defies the fates, takes a second game in a row for the first time the entire set, and that is the victorious set for Willow. But my god, what some amazing Dragon Ball that we just had to witness here today, my friends. That was incredible. That 